putting other documents into OneNote is a really useful way of uh, organizing everything. All you need to do is click insert and you'll see there's a file option. Now I've got two options in here. I've got file attachment and file printout. There's also an extra option in the online version, which I'll show you at the end. But if I click file attachment, I'm going to go to um, my desktop where I've got a Word uh, document that I've just made out of a template. It's a colouring numbers book. And if I add that, that's added into my document and I can access it by downloading it. So it's added it as an attachment that I could then download and edit. Now, an alternative to that is if you wanted to add a document for reference that you might want to read and things later or annotate and draw all over. If you do that, if you click file, insert file printout, it will take a second longer and it turns it into a PDF and then you get a PDF version of that document in here. This is an incredibly useful way of annotating stuff because you've got the digital linking capabilities in OneNote as well. This is a great way if you go to a conference and they give you a, an agenda or sometimes they give you the presentation. What you can do is you can make a page, add it in as a printout, and then you could use this stylus and make notes on it throughout. And then you've got a digital copy of those to retain forever, which I use quite a lot. Now in the online, ver in the local version, sorry, if I open this. Now here we've got one extra option. So you've still got the file printout and the file attachment. You've also got a spreadsheet. So I, I can include an existing spreadsheet or I can make a new one. What this actually does is embeds a view of that spreadsheet and you can edit it. So if I click edit, it'll open up Excel. So I could do some basic maths. Like that. Just to show you that when I then save it and close it, I'm getting a live view of that document here. So it's like a snapshot view and then you can go into the document. So again, can be really useful if you've got multiple spreadsheets. So that's adding documents into OneNote.